Hey, this is Charlie. Just wanted to mention something to you. Um, because the other day I did a favor for my daughter's roommate in college. I allowed her to interview me about what it was like living with a chronic illness. I've had a chronic illness probably since I was born. Uh, I believe it's a genetic thing, but uh, I was diagnosed at 14. And through much of my life, I was treated with medications that I would take in pill form and um, never really worked all that well, but I was taking what was you know, the leading drugs at the time to battle my particular illness. So anyway, during this interview, I went into detail about how I prepare for my day dealing with this illness and trying to live my life as naturally as I possibly can. Um, it does get in the way uh, physically sometimes, um, but I neglected I think, I think I did the kid's roommate a disservice by not spending enough time on the, the mental aspect and the emotional impact that having a chronic illness has. By the way, the way I am treated now for this chronic illness looks like this. So anyway, I go through that often. It keeps me living. So, of course, um, after having so much loss personally in my life over the past few years, man, I want to live to be 100. So I will put up with anything. I'll put up with anything that will keep me going so I can enjoy my life. And, and there is the rub. The chronic illness, just, it doesn't just impact, impact on a person, and it's not just me. Many people have chronic illnesses, of course. Uh, in my case, and I'm sure a lot of other people's cases, it impacts on you mentally. It takes a mental toll, wears you out. I mean, I don't have dark circles under my eyes because I, uh, you know, I'm always out running a marathon. Um, it's, it's worry. There's always a, a worry in the back of my mind. And the emotional impact on having a chronic illness is I can't get out often of my own way because of the worry. Uh, I can't get out of my own way to accomplish what I want to accomplish with my life whether it be work, I have a job, um, I'm not necessarily capable physically of, of working as much as I'd like, but I do, I do. It's just with the understanding of the people in charge at work, knowing that I have a limited amount of time for them during the week. But it also impacts, and I like that job, by the way, I, I like the job, but it also impacts on my other job, the one that I talk to you about here a lot, um, Up Close and Acoustic. Up Close and Acoustic is fun, but it is a job. Now, often it is a job where I don't lose money, but I don't make money. I come out even. I would do much better if I were capable of doing more, I used to do this. I used to do up close and acoustic much more. I think I've told you before in other videos, uh, I would be talking with bands four, five times a week, recording, editing, uh, assembling, production, engineering. I would be doing that every day out of the week. Now it's 
a few days out of the week. So having a chronic illness gets in my way. And it also gets in the way of other ideas that I have. I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this on any of these platforms, but I have ideas all the time about writing books about certain subjects of which I know a lot. And it's all my own research. It's I, I'm not relying on other people's notes. I, I, I'm not going to have to reference anybody else. I, I've started in the past 10 years, I've started three different books. And I've gotten in, in one of them about 120 pages deep. But coming back to the chronic illness, sometimes I'm worn out so much since I'm working my day job. By the time I get home, I still have to put in time with this job. And then after that, I'm spent on putting together what I really want to do. When my mom passed away, I told my wife, who was still alive at the time, um, I'm going to finish the damn book. I am definitely going to do this for, for mom. Now I've got to do it for dad, mom, and Judy. I've got to do it for everybody now. I've got to finish it. And yet I'm so out of gas constantly. And I'm so emotionally driven down constantly because I have to deal with this BS of having a chronic illness. And I feel bad that I didn't relay that to my daughter's roommate who was interviewing me for one of her classes, one of her college classes. Um, and I don't think I gave her that much information, which is vitally important, probably very important to what she needed to know. But it wasn't only, it was only after I had time to think about it and, of course, sit in the chemo chair today. I was thinking about it. So after the chemo today, I wanted to come home and say, this is something that I deal with. And this is something that a lot of people deal with. When I was there at the infusion suite today, it was packed. All of those people are not just dealing with illnesses not the physicality of the illnesses. They're dealing with depression. They are, believe me, I am. I know they are. They're dealing with an emotional impact that perhaps keeps them from doing what they want to do. And they're probably dealing with a fear of trying to get through a day without making their situation worse because that is also a constant fear of having a chronic illness, an obstacle. That's what this whole video is about, the obstacles that are put in place if you have a chronic illness. And I didn't realize how many there were because I never stop and think about it. I try never to think about it. I hate having that illness define me. But it does. It does in the way that it limits what I'm capable of doing physically. And it limits the way I can get things done mentally and emotionally. Because the problem that is physical also manifests itself in the way that I deal with with the rest of the world on the outside. The problem's on here. <laughs> For anybody who knows me, you can't catch what I have. <laughs> it's, it, it's all inside. But um, the impact from, from me to the outside is great. And I can let it, if I allow it, to get the better of me sometimes. It slows me down in at work, for sure. That's the physical part. But it also slows me down with the book, 
well, the three books, I just can't get to them. And it's because I'm tired. Yeah, sure. But it's also because of almost getting to the point of what's the point? I'd rather just go to bed and wake up strong again tomorrow rather than stay up, knock myself out, and then have to go back to work the next day. And I know a lot of people deal with this. It's not just poor old Charlie. It's a ton of people out there who are dealing with things that you may know about because they have to go to an infusion suite, let's say, like me, or they have to deal with their, their physical issue in a certain way. What you don't see is the emotional toll it's taking, and you don't see the toll it's taking on just the way that they can drag themselves out of bed in the morning, and it's not a physical reason. It's depression. It's the emotional impact. And it is the sheer exhaustion of dealing with the problem. I don't know what to add. This is an explanation of the obstacles that I deal with, but a lot of people deal with this, this kind of problem. And all I can say to them is, I understand. Hopefully, your family and your friends understand. I have, except for one person, really, uh, the kid who I love dearly, but except for her, I've run out of family to understand. Um, so I just wanted to make this video for people to grasp what it is the obstacles that people face with a chronic illness. And I wanted to do it for my daughter's roommate, who I feel as if I may not have said enough about. The physical impact I've been dealing with for my life, and I'm used to it, and the physical impact and the way I prepare for my days, and I do have to prepare every day in certain ways, but I don't know if I spent enough time explaining to her the, the mental toll, the, emo the emotional toll of what it takes. So anyhow, it's for you, Grace. I'm sorry if I didn't get that across as clearly as I should have. Everybody else, I'm going to keep muddling through and got an up close and acoustic to record tomorrow after a long day's work. We'll see how that goes. Anyhow, love you guys.